Hi, I'm Jay. And I'm John. And we're Bucket List Travellers. Coming to you from Papoya, Nicaragua. And in this Nicaragua travel vlog, we're going to tell you about the top five things to do at Playa Papoya. If you like uncrowded beaches, spectacular sunsets, and a relaxed lifestyle, then the beachside town Papoya on the Emerald Coast, Nicaragua is the place for you. We've been living in Nicaragua since the start of the COVID pandemic. And in 2021, we finally decided to resume our travels to discover the best places to visit in Nicaragua. One of our favorite Nicaragua beaches is Playa Guasacate in Popoyo. And in this Central America travel vlog, we'll show you why this is one of Nicaragua's best places to visit. Popoyo is in the municipality of Tola Rivas. It's a two hour bus ride from the city of Rivas and the bus fare costs 50 Cordobas per person. The bus ride is an adventure in itself. While you wait for the bus to leave, a parade of different vendors will walk through the bus selling fresh fruit and vegetables, snacks and lunch items. And if you really want, even a brand new watch. We love this aspect of traveling in Nicaragua and we happily bought enough food to last us for our journey. If you prefer to drive to Popoyo, the trip will take you a bit over an hour. The road is unsealed for the last 10 kilometers or so of the journey, so we'd recommend getting a four-wheel drive and being careful in rainy season when the roads can sometimes be unpassable. Before you make your journey to the Nicaragua beach town of Popoyo, there are some things you should know before you go. There are no ATMs at the beach, so bring enough cash with you for your trip. While there are a few small grocery stores in the area and a fruit and vegetable van that comes by a few times a week, the range of grocery items is quite limited and more expensive than in major cities. So if you're planning to cook while you're at Popoyo Beach, it might be a good idea to visit a supermarket like Amaxi Pali or La Colonia before you arrive. Now that you have all the information you need about how to get to Popoyo and what to bring to Popoyo, Let's get into our list of the best things to do in Popoyo, Nicaragua. Popoyo has some of the best surfing in Nicaragua. There are waves to suit beginners as well as world-class surf breaks for experienced surfers. The best time of the year for surfing is the rainy season of April through to September, but the area gets offshore winds 300 days a year. Keep in mind that the road conditions to get there will be worse during rainy season and the area does experience flooding. Papoyo breaks of all tides and waves can get as big as 6 metres or 20 feet. The Papoyo main break is a symmetrical A-frame, which breaks over a rock shelf with rips on both sides. It has carvable walls with the occasional barrel and operates best at low tide or with an incoming tide. The Papoyo main reef is a popular surfing spot with Nicaragua's most consistent wave. The Popoyo Outer Reef is a quarter mile offshore and offers a pipeline that can be surfed at mid or high tide. The Outer Reef has a much bigger wave and it has hazards such as strong currents and sharp rocks, so it's best left to the pros who put on an impressive show. The best surf spot for beginners surfers is Beginners Bay, which is five minutes walk from the main reef at the south end of the beach near Magnific Rock. This section of beach is more sheltered, which provides great waves for beginner surfers and intermediates looking to improve their skills, and it provides a nice rolling wave. Popoyo has a more laid back vibe than the alternative Nicaragua surfing town of San Juan del Sur, and there's some excellent surf lodges in the area. After living in Nicaragua for a year, we've discovered that it's very hard to find good Asian food in Nicaragua. Most of the cities have one or two Chinese restaurants selling favourites like Top Suey or Sweet and Sour Pork, and you can find the occasional Japanese restaurant in some of the larger cities, but other Asian cuisine is very rare in Nicaragua. So we were delighted to discover that the owner of the Red Pepper Popoyo has done culinary training in Asia and cooks some of the best Asian food in Nicaragua. Their restaurant is open two nights a week, Monday night is curry night and Wednesday night is noodle night. The food has a good amount of heat and great balance of flavour. On tonight's menu we have an Indonesian inspired noodles uh, with peanut sauce. It smells amazing and I'm so looking forward to getting into this. And we've got some sambal as well to complement it. There's a nice peanutty sauce. We have it with chicken. 
and there's peanuts in here and you can it's probably turmeric and a bunch of other spices in there as well and there's also coconut spread on top as well it smells delicious and I'm really looking forward to getting into it mm. oh, it's very delicious there's grated coconut in here there's peanuts and then the peanut sauce like there's turmeric in there really nice balance of flavors and there's not too much heat in it but there will be in the sandbar dishes are eight dollars and you can get a delicious key lime pie for dessert for an additional three dollars you have to have a meal here when you're in the area we're halfway through our list of the best things to do in Pocoyo, Nicaragua if you're liking this video so far don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more great videos on visiting Nicaragua. Our favourite thing to do in Popoyo was go for a long sunset walk along the beach. Playa Guasacate in Popoyo is one of the best beaches in Nicaragua and has an impressive stretch of coastline with beautiful water views and pristine white sand. The Nicaragua sunsets on the Pacific are spectacular and we enjoyed looking out for flocks of pelicans that would glide over the water. For those who are after a more high octane pursuit, you can hire an ATV and zoom along the sand. We were here during the Easter period of Semana Santa and crowds of family and friends flocked to Popoyo, turning the sleepy town into a party destination. Apparently it was a lot quieter in 2021 than in previous years but there were still heaps of ATVs racing along the sand. Popoyo offers a wide variety of great swimming spots. When the waves in Playa Guasacate are too big, you might feel like heading to the natural tidal pools at the northern end of the beach. If you still want to swim in the ocean but want calmer waters, there are plenty of spots in the bay that are more protected from the waves. There's even a river mouth area, which is a popular swimming spot. Beware of the currents though, as John had to rescue one person that got caught out by the fast flowing water. We hear that there are also natural thermal pools in the area called Aguas Termales de Nahualapa, and the entry fee is $3 per person. We didn't make it to these pools, but have enjoyed other hot springs in northern Nicaragua. Magnific Rock is one of the best waterfront restaurants in Nicaragua. Set on a clifftop overlooking the water, the views from this restaurant are second to none. This is a great place to come for some relaxed afternoon cocktails or for a delicious lunch. We had the bacon wrap and the CBD burger and were impressed with the size and tastiness of our meals. Prices are in US dollars, but you can pay in either US dollars or quarter de buzz, and they don't charge extra to pay by credit card. What did you think of our list of what to do in Popoyo, Nicaragua? What would be top on your list? We'd love to hear what you think, so please leave us a comment. Coming to you from Popoyo, Nicaragua, we are bucket list travellers. See you next time.